If you're an empath without boundaries, I'm gonna show you a very powerful way to protect your energy. First, I wanna shout out to all you feelers out there because I also feel deeply as well. Let me show you how I turned it into a superpower. I grew up in an unstable family environment, always having to walk on eggshells out of fear of others. I constantly had to assess my environment and the people that were in it. Before I became an empowered empath, the first thing that I had to realize is that my hyperfixation on the emotions of others was a trauma response and I had to heal it. And I'm not talking about superficial healing like meditation or affirmations. These were deep emotional wounds that required deep emotional healing. I did this by working with professionals who specialized in trauma-focused therapies. After I healed those deep wounds, I was able to move into the next step, which was learning boundaries. This also ties back to what was modeled to me in childhood. I grew up in a family with absolutely no boundaries or respect for personal space. I grew up in the middle of all the family drama. Since I didn't learn how to set and hold boundaries as a child, I had no reference point of what a boundary even was. So people continued to walk all over me well into my adult life. I was emanating the energy of someone with weak boundaries. So not only did people in my personal life not respect my personal space, but the energetic realms didn't either. And once I had that insight, more hard work began for me. I knew that I had to get clear on the boundaries I needed to set, who I needed to set them with, and then go communicate them. Then I came across the hardest thing that I had to do throughout this entire process, which was hold those boundaries. It was so difficult because the people that had been walking all over me my entire life did not like being retrained on how to treat me. So I ended up having to cut people out of my life where the dynamic was just too toxic. Once I learned how to do this in a healthy way, I noticed that my energetic boundaries strengthened as well because now I was emanating the energy of somebody with some really good boundaries. And once that happened, my ability to feel the emotions of others became a superpower because now I was able to hold space and allow someone to deeply feel their emotions without getting triggered or taking it on as my own. When you hold space and allow somebody to fully express their emotions while staying present, you create an environment where a lot of healing can occur. And I think that's a superpower. If you wanna learn how to heal and activate your spiritual gifts without all the woo and mystery, then give me a follow.